Okay. This is what you know it is. Hi, Beatles. The scary part about it is they're in my observation hive. And the bees have them kind of corralled in this little area of propolis along the top of the frame. View all the way down to the other end. And I've got some lighting here. I know it's certainly not professional, but it's the only thing I can get to that halfway work so you can see what's going on here. Several of them in here. Unfortunately, I didn't notice them until yesterday. This is our first year for high beetles in any of my hives. I was really shocked to realize that I had a old mess of them in my observation hive. The, uh, I take this to the farmer's market every Saturday. and I just usually have it here in the house. I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to it. I you know, walk by and look at it and glance at it every so often. I've got a little tube that I have connected to the outside. So the bees fly all week. I just shut them up the night before and take them up to the market. And, uh, let, of course, sell honey and talk to people about bees. And I was there yesterday and <laughs> the little boy walks up and he's looking at the hive and he goes, hey, what are these little bugs in there? Yeah. I came around there and where he was pointing and, of course, there weren't near as many hive beetles here in this little spot at that time. Just a few, but Oh my, sure wasn't a pleasant realization to see those doggone things in here. I lost a single box I've had set up for a trap. I'd brought it back home and it was really, really hot then. The bees kept bearding out in the front, bearding out in the front. I went, I really gotta, I gotta get them in another box and I took the top off. Oh, it was a mess, just slimed up really bad with larvae. Then I found some in a yard that I just started this year, uh, several miles from here. So I know I didn't take them in there. I set them in there last, I set the hives out last winter. Of course I could have had beetles last year. Uh, hives were a lot stronger last year, the weather was much better. And uh, I, I could have had them and just not had the opportunity to see them. But this year has been a, a prime year for development, it's been really humid really really wet the first part of the year weather in the spring has slowed the real strong growth of hives down in my area last year i had three deep hives this year i don't, I don't have any of them not all three deeps but i had several three deeps and this year there's no way they never got strong enough that i could put a three deep on any of them honey production is about cut in half and now i'm afraid what honey i got left if i don't do something here quick i'm going to lose some of it to these little guys they're just really disgusting. I, I'm just really, really disappointed. I, uh, I got a lot to learn about these things. I know I, I've got to adjust to the idea that I've got them. I just, I'm just totally disgusted by the whole thing. Amazed, but certainly disgusted. I mean, I, they're they're fascinating to watch. Look at the jaws on that little bee there, really working on that hive beetle. Yeah. Uh, Ph.D. from the university came and spoke to our bee association here a few years ago. He'd been doing quite a bit of research on small hive beetles and showed some pictures of them. It appeared that the bees were feeding the beetles that they had trapped behind their little fences they put up for them. And I've been trying to get some pictures this morning. This has been a little difficult through this plexiglass to get good light and make a good clear shot. But I haven't seen any uh, feeding going on and I... Like that one beetle right there, they seem to be doing more working on them with their little jaws than anything else to keep them herded back in there. But they keep riding the fences. One of them got out a while ago, ran up the glass, got inside a couple cells, and then it disappeared. I'm not sure where it ended up. I would rather imagine at the bottom of this frame where uh, it goes into the bottom of the observation hive. There's probably a nice little location down there. Evidently there's some hiding somewhere because there were only half this many in this little corral last night when I shut everything off. And I come here this morning and looked at them and then there's all these 
all these. Just way too many. So, uh, there again, I apologize for the lighting. Uh, but, uh, where I've got them here on the back porch just isn't a really good, lit, well-lit spot to, to, to see what's going on. Well, there they are with the jaws again. Doesn't look friendly to me, but I just don't understand why they don't kill them. They, they, they kill the most threatening insects that come into their hive. You know, wasp and bees that try to, other, you know, bumblebees that try to come in. Anything, they, they won't let it in or they fight it and they gang up. But that little beetle got away a while ago and started up the glass. And they took all, some of them took after it and one of them doubled up like they're trying to sting it. Of course, it's just, it got out of its grip and took off. But I don't know why they don't gang up on them somewhere and just sting the living things out of them. But, uh or close off this little area they've got them in and permanently and and instead of devoting a whole lot of bees here for on guard duty to keep them herded in. I don't know, I just got a lot of questions about these little things, I guess. I'll have to do some more reading and more research and by the way, if anybody has any suggestions on how to get rid of hive beetles on an observation hive, I'd really appreciate it because it's going to be a little difficult to get a trap inside my little entrance hole here. And they've got this glass profilized to the frame, so it's even going to be that much harder to get the glass off. By the time I get that off, I'm going to have a lot of beetles flying and free. And I'm, I don't know, I'm hoping after I get through taking some shots of this and watching them for a little while that since this is plexiglass, maybe I can just squeeze the glass together right where they are and just mash the little guts out right where they're sitting. Uh, that, uh, that might, might be the only thing, option I have. I don't know. Like I said, any ideas, I'm open to it. There you go. There's the disgusting high beetle video.